Hey Scorpio, thanks for checking out your weekly forecast for January 25th through the 31st. We've got a lot of intense planetary energies going on right now. Uh, and we've got a full moon in Leo happening on the 28th. So we're going to see how these energies are going to be affecting Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the week ahead. Um, I think a lot of you were already picking up on it. A lot of people were picking up on it from last week because I felt a lot of nervous energy in the air. So I did two weekly forecasts last week. People watched the videos, but nobody caught that there were two weekly forecasts. So I thought that was funny. But we're going to see what's happening this week ahead for you guys. And uh, these energies are going to be around for a while. So this might even be very applicable for the next couple of months. So let's see what's happening for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the week ahead. Alrighty, my darlings. So the first card for Scorpio is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Now, one of the things that is going to be happening um, with the current planetary placements, I'm not an astrology expert by any means, but from what I've been reading and from uh, very qualified people that I've been uh, watching and just hearing what they have to say about it, because of the current planetary placements, there's going to be a lot of shifting of power, potentially power struggles, and there could be a lot of drama, right? Um, this is my belief that a lot of it is going to be more so the world around us, like uh, on a bigger scale globally with like, uh, you know, um, uh, leadership, right? Like the leadership and uh, politics and government. I think there's going to be a lot of shifting and changing because we're coming into a time of awakening and uh, a lot of things are going to be changing. So there could be power struggles on, on that. That's not to say that there won't be maybe power struggles personally in our life or drama in our life. But Scorpio, the Knight of Pentacles is telling us that you're not going to allow it to cause you to lose sight of your goals. Because when I saw this card, when I pulled it for you guys, I heard keep your eyes on the prize. You're not allowing it to distract you and you're continuing to move forward. I feel Scorpio that a lot of you have been really, really overwhelmed by things that you've been trying to get in order or organized in your life and you're breaking it down into smaller pieces. You're breaking it down in a way where it won't be so overwhelming to you. Okay, so like if you've had big projects at work and you've been really overwhelmed, you're taking it, you're breaking it down into smaller little chunks or sections and you're working it one section at a time. And before you know it, it's done. Or if you have to like organize uh, your home and you're feeling very overwhelmed, you're breaking it down, not just room by room, but maybe by like corner by corner of the room like you're breaking it down right or if you have been trying to work towards like being healthier you're like okay let me break it down to where I have simple attainable goals let me try to simplify what I'm trying to do and so a lot of you are coming into this energy of being able to be focused being able to be consistent and getting things done. A lot of you are also he healing um, this rushed energy, right? Where you're like, you know what? Uh, it's going to happen when it's going to happen. It's going to finish w w when I finish it. And I'm not here uh, to race against anybody. I'm not here to, uh, you know, beat the clock. I'm not here to uh, you know, rush through things, that, that things will happen as they're meant to happen. So I feel a lot of you have been putting a lot of pressure or stress in your way in that, in, in that way. Like it's all got to get done and it's all got to get done now. And you're like, nope, time to prioritize and things will get done when they're meant to get done. That's the energy I'm feeling around this card. The Knight of Pentacles also gives us a beautiful confirmation that we're going to be successful at whatever it is we're setting out to do as long as we remain consistent that's it right consistent work will bring you progress will bring you results and it will be long lasting results okay your next card here my darlings is the emperor 
Um, if I'm not mistaken, this also came up for Gemini as well as who else? Who else got this? I think it may have been Virgo. I think Gemini and Virgo also got this card. So if you have a Gemini and Virgo placements, um, this could be kind of a, a double whammy for you. Um, some of you might be dealing with an important decision or crossroads with a Gemini or a Virgo because they also got this card. However, if we're going to look at the astrology of the card, traditionally this is going to be either an Aries person or the masculine aspect of Scorpio energy, right? And you are Scorpio. So a lot of you might be mastering the uh, masculine energy within yourself. Um, now, my darlings, I have to say, we all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? Regardless of what our bodies look like and what parts we have, we all have masculine and feminine energy. Uh, and it has nothing to do with who we're attracted to or, or uh, you know, who we find attractive, we all have these energies within us. And so a lot of you might be mastering that masculine side of feminine, of, of, sorry, of Scorpio energy. I'm feeling a different feeling for Scorpio than I felt for the other signs when this card came up. I did say for one of the signs that may have been Virgo, where like you were uh, redefine or they, they were redefining, uh, a sense of masculinity. Like if, if, you know, it was a masculine person and they felt, uh, like they, they weren't like man enough, like they were healing that feeling and they were realizing that they were man enough. Scorpio, <laughs> this is, and I'm not saying this like in a, um, uh, uh, okay. How can I say this best? This is what I feel. I feel some of you Scorpios have felt frustrated with relationships in your life, whether they're romantic relationships or friendships or work situations, whatever they might be. I feel that a lot of you Scorpios have gone through a time when not that you're judging other people or putting other people down, but I feel like you've been very frustrated in that you have felt like these other people uh, were, were very like making excuses or very weak. Like they didn't try hard enough. They didn't take initiative. Uh, you always just kind of felt like you were the toughest person in the room. And maybe for some of you, this made relationships difficult, but I feel like some of you are embracing and owning that aspect of yourself, being proud of it. And I feel like you're manifesting like-minded people or like, uh, similar energy, right? Where you're beginning to manifest or call in people who are like you, who are strong like you, who are tough like you. You're manifesting that kind of connection. Emperor here in general is going to be structure, order, discipline. Um, a lot of you are coming into a position of power or manifesting a position of power. Uh, and I heard platform, platform, platform. Some of you are being given a platform. Uh, and uh, many, many of you might find yourself uh, being seen as an authority in a field or topic. Uh, some of you might be taking over um, the authority or leadership role in your family, right? Where you're becoming uh, the patriarch or the matriarch or you're replacing the patriarch in some way. Um, but, you know, taking leadership, taking leadership and being among other leaders is what I'm feeling here with this card for you guys. Again, this is a major arcana card. So this is energy that's going to be around for a while. OK, this isn't just something that's going to be like for a day or two. So this is a new chapter, a new period. Your next card here, my dears, is the four of swords. Now, the Four of Swords traditionally is going to mean time away um, or time to like kind of disconnect and, and connect with your spirituality, your spiritual connection, meditation, prayer, recovery, rest. OK, um, for me in my readings, when I see the Four of Swords come up, traditionally, this is for somebody who has emotionally and mentally been through the ringer and they need to take a bit of a time out to rest and to recover. I feel, Scorpio, that for a lot of you, uh, there's a lot of creativity coming through this process, 
right? Um, it's not a hermit type mode or situation where you're stepping away and being by yourself and, 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 and you know, being in your thoughts and thinking about things and checking in with your feelings. I feel like you're taking time away and you're resting through creation, through creativity. I feel like a lot of you are having a very tremendous creative spark, okay? Whether that be, you know, journaling, writing, poetry, working on, on a novel of some kind, painting, sculpting, um, just coming up with ideas, tinkering with things, picking up new hobbies. I feel like a lot of you are doing something uh, creative, something creative that is bringing about healing and that you are you are feeling connected, you are feeling in your Zen. Now, um, it's interesting because somebody commented and asked, how can I meditate? What is the right way to meditate? Uh, because I posted in the community tab, that the first podcast is going to happen on the 28th and I opened it up for people to comment any questions or things they want me to talk about in the blog and one of the comments was how can I meditate correctly that is a question I can't wait to get into and I'm glad that this person asked it I'm glad that she asked the question uh, but this brings me to this card for you guys Scorpio I feel that for a lot of you this creativity, this healing is actually going to be, without you even realizing, a form of meditation. Meditation comes in many, 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 many forms, right? There's meditation gardens where people would, uh, you know, uh, rake the sand or, or, or they would, you know, plant or prune trees or leaves a certain way. And it's a meditation. So this creativity is like a meditation. It, it's your Zen. It's like you're connecting uh, with your higher power uh, through this creative process and also resting and taking time away from others. Your next card here, my darlings, is the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands could indicate some kind of, uh, how can we say this, uh, uh, ultimatum sometimes. Knight of Wands can show up in my readings as ultimatums of somebody who's trying to get you to hurry up and make a decision or do what they want you to do. But we already know from the beginning of the reading, right? You have the Knight of Pentacles. You don't want to be rushed. You're not having it. And a lot of the times when we make a certain decision, something will happen to uh, give us an opportunity to prove ourselves, right? To stand up and make that stand and say, nope, I've made my decision. I'm not changing my mind. So some of you might have somebody coming in trying to rush you. I don't mean like in terms of like a work situation where it's like, we'll get the work done and you're talking back to your boss. No, I'll do it when I want. I don't mean it like that. But maybe more so like on a personal level, um, you have some ideas, you have some plans and people are putting pressure on you or someone's putting pressure on you and you're not having it. Another meaning here of the Knight of Wands can be things happening very quickly, things unfolding very quickly. Uh, and this can also be someone who kind of comes and goes out of your life, comes and goes out of your life. Uh, it doesn't have to be romantic, but typically it can be like a, a lover kind of energy. And so um, a lot of you are having to make the decision here on closing the door. Because we're coming into the Leo full moon, and this is a time of release, releasing karmic cycles, releasing karmic patterns, releasing fears, releasing heavy emotions. Some of you are sending someone packing, like don't come back here again, right? Don't come back here again. And for those of you that are, I feel this is someone who just, like I said, they come and go, they come and go, they come and go. And maybe in the past you, you couldn't resist or you felt some sort of compassion for them. And now you're like, no, there's just, I'm, I'm too focused on what's going on in my life. I don't want this energy. Uh, I feel some of you are also coming into a time of decided celibacy because this is following the four of swords. So some of you are taking like time to clear your energy, uh, clear your past. And uh, a lot of you might find yourself being approached by someone who uh, maybe is making that advance towards you. And it could be for some of you, someone that you found irresistible in the past. Um, maybe somebody that you would make an exception for. You, you kind of let them come and go. 
and you're closing the door on that. You're like, no, I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. And so some of you might be taking a little bit of a, of, a, of a break from that kind of physical intimacy energy. Your next card here, my darlings, is the Fool. This is a major arcana card again here. So energy that's going to be around for a while. Major arcana cards are significant crossroads, changes, shifts, right? So for some of you, right... Um, this is going to be a leap of faith in a completely new direction, okay? Completely new direction. There could be an offer coming in, and you're like, here here we go. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a chance. Or you might be deciding to launch something new, and you don't know what to expect. Um, and the Fool card is saying you're being guided to do this. You're being guided to do this, right? You're being guided in this direction. It's a part of your journey. But even though you think that that might be the goal, it's just the very, 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 very beginning of it. It's going to lead to many other new experiences, many more new things. Um, I feel for some of you, it's even opening up a, a time of travel when things change and are more stable and we're allowed to travel and move about a little bit more freely again. A lot of you are going to be traveling Okay, you're going to have the opportunity to travel. Um, I feel some of you are even manifesting a time where... Um, you're kind of uh, living out of a suitcase, but you, you're wanting it. You're wanting that sense of adventure. You're wanting to go to different places. You're wanting to experience different people, different places, different cultures, different ways of life. Uh, the only message here with the Fool card is look before you leap. That's it right? You're being guided in this direction. Some of the decisions that you're taking might not make sense to people, uh, but you're, you're, you're doing it because you're guided to do it. The full card just says have a plan, right? Make sure that uh, you know what you're jumping into and that you're prepared for it and you can kind of try to control where you're going to land in the process. Take what you need with you. Be prepared, right? But also here we see this person is traveling light. They're not burdened by, you know, this, you know, big heavy suitcases. They're taking what they need, but they're traveling light. So I feel this is also a message that in this full moon in Leo, you are going to feel like, oh my gosh, I got rid of my baggage, finally. Those of you that have had some difficult things that you've been trying to release for a long time, this is it. You're getting rid of it and you're feeling light. You're feeling light. You're not feeling weighed down. You're feeling like the world is your oyster. This is what's going to be happening for many of you in the next, uh, I'd say, 30 to 60 days. Okay, so really, really powerful energy here. Very beautiful energy. Be sure to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks are going to resonate with you more than others. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you want to go to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. Uh, also, my dears, uh, like I said, don't forget, podcast is coming on the 28th. Uh, go ahead, check out the community tab and comment on that post there and let me know what kinds of things you want me to cover in the future because I'm doing it. I want to be helpful to you guys. Uh, so your your questions are more than welcome thanks for watching liking sharing commenting and subscribing bye my darlings have a good week